In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a lead generation automation sequence so that you do not have to cater the leads manually. Rather, you have an automation in place inside Go High Level, which can cater the two leads. Not just that, it can help you nurture those leads, send you notification, wait for a certain specific time, and then uh, create opportunities so that you can see that inside your opportunity section. All of that is going to get covered inside this tutorial. Not just that, I'm also going to do a very live demonstration in front of you so that you can see the entire thing in action in real time. Right, you must be thinking who well, I teach about Go High Level. Well, my name is Preetam. I run a Go High Level funnel and website design agency to build marketing funnels for our clients across the world. We have been helping them for the last three years build different kinds of automated sales funnel, lead generation funnel, SaaS websites, and whatnot. You can find more about that on my YouTube channel. In case you want to work with us, go ahead to preetamha.com. In case you haven't started with Go High Level yet and considering looking for a suitable affiliate who can actually help you get started, then make sure that you visit bonus.pithamha.com because that's exactly where you'll be able to see what bonuses we provide. Right? If you click here, you will be able to see the bonuses that we are providing to affiliates. So it's not just top class, but it's also a very, very high value. It's exactly what you're going to get if you become an uh, affiliate. Ladies and gentlemen, all the links are in the description below. So in case you want to check them out, make sure you go through them. Right. So let's get back into the automation sequence and let me tell you how this entire operation is going to get performed. The first thing is we need to create a, a system where we can capture the leads. You can have those, you know, placed in your landing pages, your websites, in your forms, uh, sorry, in, in your websites, whether it's in Go High Level, whether it's WordPress, no matter where you want it to be placed, you can have it. You can also have individual links, which you can share in order to capture these leads. And the best way to do it is, is to capture through a form, right? I'm quickly going to show you exactly how to do it. Let me get started by going to sites, right? The moment you go to sites, uh, you will be able to see a navigation bar on the top here itself, which right, we have followed by websites of analytics, blogs, WordPress, all of that. Now we have a section called as uh, form builder, right? We're going to go to the form builder here. And let's say I'm going to go for the form zero. So when I click on it, it is going to open the form builder for me. I'm going to just create a basic form which can capture name, phone number, and email ID. And you're going to create entire operations based on that. Okay. So currently, let's uh, make this as, uh, you know, uh, lead gen automation. All right. Perfect. So lead gen automation. Let's add a phone number in case that's needed. Let's add it here. All right. Uh, Let's get this added on the top. Perfect. I think this looks good, right? We can change a lot of it, but this is not a form video. We already have very, very detailed form videos on our channels. So make sure that you watch that in case you're interested to learn about how to customize the form and make it look pretty neat, clean, and premium, right? So apart from that, we're just going to save it from here. Once you have saved it, you can also preview it in case you want to see how that does. Uh, that's uh, going to look. So you have your first name, you have your email, you have your phone number, and then you have the consent box, right? Just to make sure that everything is compliant. And you have the button, you have the privacy policy in terms of services, which you can add as links anytime you want, right? So apart from that, we can also integrate inside your website. You can get the codes for that, or you can also uh, get this copy form link. If you copy this, then this form link can be placed anywhere and then you'll have that form, right? But apart from that, you also have this sticky bar, uh, you know, for right side in pop-ups and inline, uh, but we don't need it because normally what we do is we create that and add it inside our sales funnel on website, we build inside go high level. Right. So let it rest it like this. Let's go back and let's get into the automation part so I can teach you how to create the automation. For that, we'll go to the automation tab here on the left hand side, just below marketing and above site section. It's going to uh, now open the automation part here. And now we're going to create a workflow. We're going to always go for, uh, start, you know, start from scratch because we build everything from scratch. And um, this is what we call as the uh, you know workflow builder. Workflow is basically a set of automation tool, right? This is where this is your playground in order to build any kind of automation that you want to build inside Go High Level. So let's say I'm going to name it as Lead Gen uh, Form Submission, right? And then I'm going to create a trigger. 
Now, a lot of you have this question that what exactly is a trigger? What exactly are the subsequent actions, right? A trigger is like a switch of a bulb, right? So when you turn on the right switch, the right bulb is going to get lit up. Similarly, when you create these kind of automations, you have to make sure the right trigger is set because only when the trigger gets activated, the subsequent action that we have put inside those triggers are going to get executed. So you have to make sure that you're putting the right trigger. So here, since what we're basically doing is we're going to submit a form. So we are going to select for uh, the form trigger, right? So here we have the form submission, right? Which is form submitted in here. You have multiple options, but you're going to choose the form submission. Right. And here I'm going to select add a filter. The reason why I want to select add a filter is very clear, right? Because I don't want all the forms inside my Go High Level accounts to get activated when somebody opts in or this automation to get activated, right? So I want to a specific form to get activated, right? When somebody opts into that so that this specific automation can proceed forward in order to get uh, executed. That's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to click on add filters and then we're going to select the form. So here it is going to be the form is, and then you have the options to select which form is this. Now here we have different kind of forms. Now if you remember, we just created this lead gen automation form. So that's pretty much it. If we do not, uh, you know, give a filter to what the form is, then it's going to take all the forms. So whenever any kind of forms get submitted, right, this automation is going to work out. So that may be a use case and may not be a use case. So if you are creating multiple forms, then it's going to create a lot of issues because then the automation will get executed even if you do not want it for that particular sequence. So it's always best to select which form you want the automation to get executed for, right? You can also add multiple forms if you want, right? That's always a use case, but in general, I won't recommend that. Uh, I, I won't, I will recommend adding that filter at least for now, right? So I'm going to create and add that filter. I'm going to save that. So uh, that's being added. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a user. It's very important to assign a user because the system will be able to understand that uh, with this lead that's gaming, right? Uh, who is the owner of that uh, lead, right? So it has to be assigned to somebody. So when you have, uh, you know, calendars, right? You have multiple rob round robin calendars. You can have multiple users. So multiple users then can get assigned to it, right? But here, since this is only a one day sequence, so I'm going to assign it to myself, right? I'm going to assign a user, right? And this is going to be myself that's it i want to assign it to a user and then i'm going to click on save contact so now i'm assigned to user so every lead that comes in is going to get assigned to me from this form now i'm going to create an, a notification right so here i'm going to create a notification now there are three kinds of notifications that you can create you can create email notification that's going to come to your email you can create a uh, you know notification as in actual notification that comes up over the application so for that you have to download the go high level application from your google uh, play store as well as your apple play store and then you can also create sms notification that's going to come to your phone itself right i'm going to make it simple and i'm going to add the email notification here right i'm going to add the form name as my company name which is pb digital right right and then the form email is going to be let's say uh, you know, Pritham at reply.pritham.com because that's the email domain that I've set currently, right? And then let me just do one thing. I'm going to probably add this. So you can add things here itself. I'm going to save the action for now. Okay. Let me just add to user, assigned user. That's it. Subject line will be hey, uh, uh, hey, Pritham, right? Or hey, user, assigned user. You can add an assigned user. So with, for that, you have to just add a user and then you have to add the full name. Hey, Pritam uh new lead came in. Fine. And then we can write it, hey, uh, hey, Pritam. Congrats. Congratulations. You you just receive a new lead please reach out if you can All right and then it's going to be lead name okay so you can see here this is the first name lead email and then lead phone number All right 
So for the email here, we are going to add, uh, we won't be using user. We're going to go, you know, click on contact and then we're going to contact the first name. Then lead email is going to be the email ID from the contact, which is going to be the email. And then it's going to be the phone number, which is going to be the phone number here. That's it. Okay. Pretty interesting. Sounds perfect. So I think this is all good. Awesome. So I'm just going to save the action now. All right. Also, I think this is working fine. Now I'll also send an email. Send an email. All right. And this email is going to be for the lead. Right. Uh, action name is email is fine. It's going to be email to contact. Right. Form name is going to be PB digital. Form email is going to be this one. Subject in congratulation. Now we'll be writing thank you for signing up. Right. And then you can write anything that you want. Hey there. Uh, I won't say hey there. I'm going to write the contact name to make it much more personalized. So that is going to be the contact uh, full name. Right. And then we're going to write the entire other things as well. Congratulations for signing up. Our representative will, will reach out to you shortly. Simple, right? You can write, I mean, you can add more copy. We have done a lot of videos where we showcase and give you even the templates as well. Uh, reach out to, uh, to you. That's it. I just want to make it short. Uh, there's nothing much I want to do here. Then I also want to add, uh, let's say, an SMS, right? Right. Uh, action name. Okay. So let's say I want to get the same details here. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So we're just going to save it. I'm just going to add an SMS. And then send SMS and that's done. By the way, SMS won't be executed because we are, this is a demo account and we don't have the, uh, you know, phone number being counted, but that's pretty fine. I just want to show you how this is going to work out. And then we're going to have a wait step, right? Because let's say now we're going to wait for a day. So we can make it a day. So let's say it's going to be one day. Right. And then you're going to follow the same process again. Right. So let's say from here, copy your actions from here, copy to here. Right. You can do that. Let's say we don't need this. You only want a two way sequence. Right. And let's say I also want to make sure that our opportunity gets updated. Right. So set a pipeline. Let's say to Dr. Bob pipeline and a new lead. Opportunity name is going to be the contact uh, first name, right? Uh, source is not required or uh, lead value. Let's say that's $99, right? Uh, that's it, right? So that's pretty much it of how we are going to do it. So let's proceed further and let's make it publish so that we will be able to see this in action. Awesome. Sounds good. So this is the form here, right? We're going to refresh this a bit. Right. And then let's say I want to add my name here. I want to add my email here. I want to give a demo. You know. Right. I consent. I'm going to click on submit. Right. So this is the page. Uh, this is basically the custom message. Now, because uh, if we are, we're using custom message here, we can also redirect to another page. So that's also possible. Awesome. Just want to showcase to you that the automation just worked here. As you can see here, one lead came in. So I'm just going to show you that. You can get more details about how the automation is working from the execution logs. So if you see here that all of that got executed, let me just showcase you here, right? So somebody opted in, which was me, right? And then it was assigned user was executed, Intel notification was executed, opportunity was created, email was sent, SMS was sent, even though we don't have a number, so it won't go. And then wait step is waiting. 
I would be able to actually see it in action to status view. Turn that on. You will be see right that delivery internal notification has been delivered. Right, email to contact has been delivered, and all that happened. And now the contact is actually waiting here. Right, it's going to wait for another day and then proceed forward with the same task. Right, and here actually in the enrollment history, it's going to show me the enrollment that happened. Right, which was this my email that I just enrolled and actually have received the email already. Right, as you can see here, hey Pritam Bhadra, you know, new lead came in. Right, it came via my email ID, right, which I registered, and then it came via the name, which is PV Digital. Hey, we congratulations, you received a new lead. Please reach out if you can, which is lead name this, lead email this, and lead phone number this. Right, and if I, uh, you know, if I just have to show you the automation here, it's currently in the waiting step, and then after almost an, a day from now, it's going to go ahead and proceed with this kind of email and SMS. It has actually also updated the opportunity here. I'm going to show you that as well. So for that, you have to go to opportunities here. Uh, opportunities we're going to create, as you can see here, uh, the Dr. Bob pipeline, a new lead got created for 99 rupees. It's in INR because in India, but yeah, freedom and then one hour call. So this is got executed, right? So that's exactly how this happens, right? And that's how the automation takes place. I hope that you got to learn a lot about creating automated lead generation uh, automations. I hope that was helpful for you. In case you have any kind of queries, feel free to reach out. If you're new to Go High Level, if you haven't started yet, make sure that you go through our, our, our bonus, which is bonus.pthima.com, because you literally are going to learn a lot in terms of getting in, you know, one on free consultation calls, you know, base account setup as well as premium lead generation funnel and site that we offer for absolutely free. In case you want to work with us, go to pdmr.com and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one.